It's just a general technique thing for kettlebells. That This is one of those that once you learn this, you can do a lot of other exercises with it. So it's called a clean. And what you're going to do is you start with the kettlebell on the ground between your feet. Take it in your hand, generally with your palm facing back, and you just pick it up, turn it, and bring it up to the resting position, okay? So, from the ground, turn it, and then bring it up to a rest. And from there, I think the exercise that you'll want to do is a press. So you just press it straight up, bring it back down, clean, and press. Down, clean, and press. And you want to do those fairly quickly. Oh, do eight to 10 on each side. It's easier when you're not trying to talk and sound like it's not hard. So that's the clean and press. So that's your first new exercise. you can 
can do is hold a weight right here while you're doing it. I don't know why. We do that at the gym. It seems to make a difference. So um, if you do it on a bench, you get sort of a freer motion here. Like you can definitely come all the way down more. But the um, big thing is make sure you're tipping it at the top because that gives you definition right here. So that's that. Um, do that every time you work out because um, you see that bug? Let me catch him. Um, all right, come here. But yeah, so do that every time you work out. It'll give you real definition in your forearms. And uh, there's another one that I want you. You're probably looking at my crotch, aren't you? Sorry. tell you this is the hardest well one of the two hardest exercises in your new set and this is the third time I've had to shoot it because I keep just getting myself in the boobs so I'm gonna try this one more time this is double we call them W's usually we do it on the TRX but I'm going to show you how to do it with weights and now I'm really good at it with weights so we got that going for us so I'm using 10 pound weights this is the exercise we talked about that works right between your shoulder blades so you're going to take your weights and hold them up in front of you where your arms are at a 90 degree angle, your elbows are straight out in front of you. I'm gonna do it with my knees a little loose, like sort of softly bent, like not squatting, and but just not straight. So you're gonna take the weights, hold them in front of you, just kind of tap them together to center yourself, and then you're gonna pull it straight back. Shoulders are back, elbows come straight back. You can feel it right between your shoulder blades, and then bring them back together. Do eight of those. I'm going to show you from the side, four, and from the back. So elbows are up, arms are, or hands are sort of straight out, seven, and eight. Do two sets of eight, and then um, there's already a clip of these that I'm going to include, but this sort of waitress ones. In the, when I watch the clip, I notice that my hands are up a little bit. Keep your hands straight up from your elbows as much as you can. Just roll it straight in and out. That works the rotator cuff and just strengthens your elbows and just things that you don't normally work. So I'm going to squeeze this in before that exercise so you'll see more of those in a minute. All right, bye. Okay. And, you know, another one you can do is... Hold the weight out to the side like this, like a waitress holding a tray where you would never hold a tray. But again, you're flexing back, shoulders are back, shoulder blades are totally engaged, and you're going to bring it forward and back. Good Lord, that's really hard. Um, I wouldn't do those two together because that second one's really hard. You can also do that second one sitting on an exercise ball, which we used to have, but we don't anymore. So you sit on the ball and then just bring it out and back. But the key is to keep your elbows back so that your shoulders are engaged and you do this deal. Oh, that's hard. All right, that's all.